Oh, hey. Just out here at the Colorado Street Bridge, AKA the Suicide Bridge. All right, this bridge was built in 1912, but wasn't dedicated until December 13th, 1913. They say all that is bad luck on the number tip. Look at the craftsmanship, man. Old school. It's mad old looking. Look at the architecture, man. That lets you know it's old. Therefore, haunted. It's over 100 years old right now. You can't tell me it's not no ghosts out here, man. Once you hit 100, ghosts just come with the, come with the age. Even if nobody ever died here. It's 100 years. Ghosts are just gonna show up. Ghosts like old things. You know they say, when you walk this bridge alone, the spirits call you to jump to your death. The French call it l'appel du vide. That's the call of the void in English. And I'm about to walk this bridge alone. Let's see if they call me, man. They say you can see two particular ghosts out here. A man in wire-rimmed glasses and a woman in a white robe. So apparently, there was a lady named Myrtle Ward who wanted to commit suicide. She was gonna do a murder-suicide. So she threw her three-year-old daughter off the bridge and then followed suit and jumped off. Miraculously, the daughter survived. Jean survived the fall thanks to some trees, but the mom didn't. So it was a, it was a, it was a murder-suicide going wrong. Thank God Gene survived, man. Imagine that. Somebody throw you over the bridge, you survive? And it's your mom? Oh, it's heartbreaking stuff, man. Right down there somewhere. And they say Myrtle still roams around to this day. Now, other legends circulating about this bridge is that during the construction of the bridge, a construction worker fell off, landed in the wet cement, and it's still, his body is still in this construction to this very day. And what makes it so crazy, he's not the only one. They say there's two more construction workers within the cement to this day. And you, they say you can still see their ghosts roaming around. They probably got two belts on, lunch boxes. They think they're showing up to work. A hundred years working on the same project? I'd be asking questions if I was a ghost. Like, when are we gonna be done? And what does it look like to them? Is it completed? Is it incomplete? With their ghost vision? I don't know, man. I don't know if I would want to be buried where I worked. That'd be good. It depends on the job. Like if my body is entombed in a comedy club building, that's not too bad. Because I do comedy for a living and I love what I do. But if I was working at McDonald's, just trying to make ends meet, I hated the job. Then I fell over, landed in the wet cement in the parking lot. Then I'm forever in the drive through parking lot. Nah, I passed on that. But I be messing with people's orders, though. I be getting the orders out. I just be fumbling people's orders. Be like, no, nah, ma'am, you said two double cheeseburgers. That's not what I ordered. And I be like, <laughs> I would be a mischievous ghost, man. Why not? You only live once until you die in haunt. There it is. So this bridge, you can tell it's old school. You can tell it's been here for a while. You know what I mean? It's got an old flavor to it, a little light post. And when everything's old, you know it's haunted, man. We got houses, a community, a neighborhood being built right down here underneath the bridge. That neighborhood's gonna be haunted, man. That's gonna be a haunted neighborhood down there, man. I don't think they realize it. The construction workers down here building, gonna be ghosts all up and through the crib. This was Scooby-Doo. I dress in a ghost costume and start running around the construction site, get the prices lowered. And I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for these rotten kids and this dog. That's all Scooby-Doo was. That's all it was. Now imagine if you're on this bridge by yourself at night, listening to your favorite tracks on your on your Apple Music or whatever you're listening to, all of a sudden a voice cuts in. It's calling you. It's telling you, jump. Come over the side. 
come over here with us. Imagine that. And you're like, what, what the? You take your headphones off, but you still hear the call. Imagine that. What do you do? Huh. Do you jump? Do you follow the voice? Do you go over? Do you just put the earbuds back in like it never happened? I don't know. You tell me. Imagine you're walking on the bridge by yourself. You notice there's a woman in a white robe up ahead. You think nothing of it. She's just standing there taking it in. You look over here admire the beauty, you look back, all of a sudden the woman is closer to you. You stop walking, of course. When you turn around, you look, every time you turn around and look back, she's closer to you. What do you do? What do you do? I know what I would do. I would walk backwards and keep watching her the whole time. That's how you do it so she can't creep up. But what if when you finally turned around, and ran to your car, you get in, and there's the man with the glasses in the back seat of your car. What do you do? You tell me. Because the bridge might tell you another story. Just don't listen too closely to the bridge, or it might send you over. Think about that. Now, since they had suicides in 2017, they put these up to prevent people from making the jump, man. These are new fences. You can tell, look at them. Brand spanking new out here, man. So people still use this bridge as their final act. Man, tragic. I don't hear anything calling me. But I will say this, and this is no laughing matter, man. Suicide is serious business, man. And uh, if you're going through the struggle, man, don't do it. Don't do it. If you're feeling down, watch my YouTube video. Hopefully that'd be a nice pick-me-up. The suicide, man, ah, it's so final. Come on, man, don't give up. We want you out here. We want you around. Don't give up, man. So if you hear the call, don't jump over the side. If you hear the call of the void, Call some loved ones and see what's going on, man. Don't give up out here.